Osan's corrosion control shop is working on an A-10 Thunderbolt, the 11th one that's made it into their paint barn this year. But this isn't routine maintenance on the fleet. They're preparing it for a new tail art design. The corrosion control shop has been revamping the tails of the A-10s and the F-16s since April of 2007. Senior and Paul Cottrell is one of the airmen working on the aircraft. It's something new. I mean, usually we just put the squadron's little design like a horse or an eagle or something up there and then the, the state designation and the tail numbers, but now we get to put something unique on there, a checker pattern, which no other jet out there has. Nobody else has a big old design on their tail. The big old design Airman Cottrell is talking about began in 1944. The checker tail pattern was part of the 51st Fighter Wing's history for 20 years throughout the Korean War. In conjunction with the 60th anniversary of the Air Force in 2007, the wing brought back the historic legacy of tail art once again. This is absolutely unique. Uh, there is no other fighter in the Air Force inventory that has a unique tail pattern to it. Because of the new regulations in PACAF especially, there's no art allowed. They took the nose art off the A-10. They took the nose art off of pretty much every aircraft except maybe the B-52. So having the checker tail pattern is unique to Osan and Osan alone. The corrosion control shop has painted the tails of 29 F-16s and they still have 17 more A-10s to go. The project is scheduled to finish in August. Connecting today's airmen to their past as they head into the future. Air Force Sergeant Rachel Herman, Osan Air Base, Korea.